If Catherine's position as heroine is uncertain, what about the hero Frederick Henry's? In Ernest Hemingway's novel, A Farewell to Arms, Frederick Henry is the protagonist and narrator. But it is uncertain whether he can be considered a hero in the traditional sense. Here we will evaluate Henry's role as hero in a farewell to arms and comparatively study how Catherine's position as heroine in a farewell to arms is cemented. Hello friends, I am Ardhan Dude and you are watching Edis English Literature. So let's begin our discussion on Henry first. Is he a hero. In literature, either in drama, story, novel or in films, the protagonist is the main character while the hero is a character who is admired for their brave deeds or noble actions or noble qualities or with whom the author is having a laugh. The hero is often the protagonist himself or herself. But this is not always the case. The hero may be supporting character or he may be a character who is not directly involved in the main events of the story. But he is still admired for their actions. For example, we can take from another novel, To Kill a Mockingbird. Here the protagonist is Atticus Finch. But the hero of this story is Tom Robinson. And who is that Tom, Tom Robinson? He is a character who is being falsely accused of a crime and ultimately killed because of his racial identity. In this case, Atticus Finch is the protagonist because he is the main character and the story is told from his perspective. But Tom Robinson is the hero because he is the no he he has the noble qualities and he bravely displays his heroic qualities and his he voices against injustice in Ernest Hemingway's novel A Farewell to Arms the protagonist is Frederick Henry the American ambulance driver serving in the Italian army during World War I. Frederick Henry is no doubt the main character. The events of the novel revolves around him. He is also the narrator of the story. So the reader experiences the events of the novel through his perspectives. Now, Frederick Henry could also be considered hero of this story because he has some heroic qualities. The bravery, the nobility of his actions is no doubt great. He risks his own life. He risks his own life safety to rescue his comrades during the battle. And he remains loyal. To his friends and comrades despite the dangers and hardships in that way. So the term hero is subjective 
and some of you may view Frederick Henry differently because you have seen the other values or other beliefs. As an American ambulance driver in the Italian army during the World War I, Henry is initially portrayed as a cynical and detached individual whose primary focus is his own pleasures, own enjoyment, merriment and careless lifestyle. But as the story, as the novel progresses, continues, Henry falls in love with Catherine. He begins a rapid changes, a rapid transformation in him. He becomes more compassionate, more passionate, more empathetic and even more lovable. Slow by slow, Henry becomes a protector, a caregiver for Catherine. So despite the danger and uncertainty of their situation, Henry is unwavering in his love and devotion to Catherine. And he is willing to do whatever he, he takes to keep her safe and happy. Even the bravery, the self, selflessness in his actions are being portrayed. I have just shared this information. He is not only sacrificing the safety of his own for the sake of his fellow comrades, but also uh, while there was bombing attack, he was um, he was uh, fearing his own life and endangering his own life rescues Catherine to a safe passage. As Henry from detachment becomes attachment and embraces the emotions. He becomes self-aware, introspective and he takes some difficult decisions end to his life. He flees with Catherine to Switzerland in order to protect her and their unborn hero. Isn't the act heroic? So all these obviously demonstrate his heroism and make him a compelling and inspiring protagonist. I can't resist myself from quoting few lines. The world breaks everywhere and afterwards many are strong at the broken places. This quote speaks to the idea that life can be difficult and challenging and that going through difficult times can make us stronger as a result. It suggests that suffering and struggle can ultimately lead to growth, results. We can read Henry in this perspective. But Henry also exhibits selfish and self-centered behavior, particularly in his relationships with women at the early part of the novel. He is indifferent to the feelings to, of others, often puts his own desires above the need of those around him. So, he is lacking commitment, loyalty. Even he abandons Catherine when she meets him most. Now, all these negative traits doubts him as a hero. Now, as 
Hindi exhibits a kind of heroic qualities, his actions and behaviors towards others raise some doubts too. We are questioning him the veritatus of a hero. Now it is ultimately up to the reader to make a decision. It might be said that he is an open-ended character. We can take him a hero or not is the very perspection of us determined. Catherine Barclay, the British nurse who falls in love with the American ambulance driver, Frederick Henry, is a very heroine. She has been the love interest of Frederick Henry, only interest. But gradually she becomes the sole love for Henry. Catherine is depicted as a strong and independent woman who is not afraid to speak her mind and challenge the so-called societal expectations. Despite there are so many hurdles, numerous challenges, setbacks, Catherine remained determined and ultimately leading to her becoming a symbol of hope, symbol of future peace for Frederick. Her message of love is universal. And it does not only transform Henry, but we as a reader makes a new perception of this world. Now, she has been under pressure. She is fiercely being criticized, but she is independent. She is not willing to be controlled by others. But one thing notably, she is unapologetically truthful about her feelings, her actions. During a conversation with Frederick, Catherine delivers a monologue in which she expresses her belief that love and war are incompatible and that love is ultimately the most important thing in life. And it wins the battle. Here I quote Catherine's speech. I am not brave, really. It is just that I am afraid of dying. I am afraid of dying without having had a chance to really live. And I am afraid of dying without having loved anyone the way I love you. Love is the only thing that matters. Don't you think? It is the only thing that's real. All the rest is just illusion. What is just a silly game that men play? It does not mean anything. It does not make the world a better place. But love, love makes everything worth living. It's what makes life worth living. Catherine's words truly reflect the theme of the novel, the message of the novelist. And the fact is that the word is futile. When there is love, when there is human connection, no war can make a break. So we can say Catherine's bravery, strength that has been depicted throughout the novel story, particularly the way she handles her pregnancy, even the loss of her child, and even make it makes a transformation of 
and his heart. Despite experiences immense grief, heartbreak, Catherine remained strong. Her ability to locate hope, joy in the face of tragedy, in the face of torments, in the face of devastated First World War. It is her heroism. It is our beautiful perception eh, that makes her a heroine. We can say that the greatest strength of a person is her personality, her loving face, her inspiring words. And here Catherine passes all these elements in her. In Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to the Arms, both Catherine and Henry are interesting characters parallelly placed. Whereas Catherine is a symbol of love against the world war devastations, who has the capability to transform with the message of love. Even she transforms and mended the very ideologies of Henry into the sweet channel of love is no doubt the greatest personality, strong personality that has been depicted in comparison to Henry. But Henry's character is also interesting with so much transformation, so much radical changes or the gradual evolution from that base person to that of elevated person. And it is all made possible by his experience with Catherine. So from being a protagonist, Henry is still battling to be a hero, whereas Catherine is the quality that abstraction of the qualities of a good personage who does not need any certification of being a heroine. She is definitely a heroine of this great piece of novel. So this is the direction. This is the way of reading particularly these two characters. If you have any other views or comparative analysis or any other questions regarding this point, you can ask me here. I am here to give some of the answers of your queries. Like, share, comment and obviously subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. Thank you.